Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer. I'm here at America's first solar-powered city, Babcock Ranch, Florida, to exhibit at the Babcock Ranch Art Show this weekend. So I'm here in a place called Babcock Ranch, Florida this weekend for the art show. If you've never heard of Babcock Ranch before, you're not alone. I had never heard of it either uh, before applying to this show. Babcock Ranch is a pretty neat place. It looks like it was all farmland at one time, but they've turned it into this massive planned community, and it's actually the first solar-powered city in the United States. And uh, they have a little one-day art show here that's usually in the spring, um, but this year, in 2020, the show was canceled in the spring and postponed until now in November. Uh, the, the same people that run Artfest Fort Myers, which is a, a really great, well-respected, really well-run show that I've done before, do this show here in Babcock Ranch. They put it on, so knowing that they were in charge of it, I felt uh, pretty confident to come here and give this little one-day show a shot. One of the things I like a lot about traveling and doing art festivals is that it takes me to places I probably would never go to otherwise. I've traveled across the whole country exhibiting my work, and not to mention I've traveled all around the world to create my artwork. And because I love to travel, getting to do it to make my artwork and then to sell my artwork is really awesome. And it brings me to cool places like the first solar-powered city in the whole country and hopefully it'll go really well. I just set up, it's Friday, the show is tomorrow on Saturday. So right now I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm gonna look on Google and see if I could find a good vegan restaurant around here to pick up some food for a late lunch and uh, possibly some dinner later and get rested up for the show tomorrow. Okay, so I'm here with Sharon McAllister. She is the director of the Babcock Ranch Art Show. Say hello, Sharon. Hello. Um, she's also the director of Artfest Fort Myers, which is the group that puts on the Babcock Ranch Art Show here. So Sharon, I just wanted to ask you how um, the Babcock Ranch Art Show came to be, because this is a, a really new development and a growing community. So I was just curious as how they uh, came to have an art show here and how Artfest Fort Myers came to be involved in that. So Babcock Ranch, um, as a community, is a sponsor of the Art Festival, of Art Fest Fort Myers. And uh, we agreed with them that we would help them start an art show here. And so we did that two years ago in 2019. Uh, there should have been one in March of 2020, but we all kind of know what happened to that. Mm -hmm. And this, so this one in November is the uh, postponement of that show. And then there'll be another one in March of 21. And that was Babcock. So they wanted to start an art show here, but they wanted it started by us. Well, you turn it off, Sharon. I'm gonna buy one of his pieces. There oh. you go. <laughs> very nice. So thank you very much. We've been for, friends for, for 20 years. Oh, 20 I've, some years. Yeah, I've been on the committee 16, 17 years, something like that. Yeah, something like that. You're in the committee of Art Fest for Myers. I can tell yeah. you about that. He's one of our zone leaders. He's a big deal at the Art Festival. Oh, we, what's your name? Kirk. Kirk. Nice to meet you, Kirk. We set it all up, a bunch of us, and uh, I saw Heidi here today. Yeah, Heidi's here too. Uh, we are the operations committee, but we put it all together, and then we try and hide during the cells. <laughs> right, and just kind of let the artists do their thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, but you guys do a great job of work behind the scenes. I should also mention that Artfest Fort Myers did a lot of um, proactive work for artists during the pandemic when everything was shut down. 
Artfest Fort Myers actually took place in 2020, so their show wasn't canceled, but they still continued to send out a lot of resources for artists throughout the pandemic as far as getting things like unemployment, the Paycheck Protection Program. So thank you very much to uh, Sharon and the committee for everything you guys did. And I need this piece. Awesome. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. <laughs>